Okay, let's continue with the second part. So the first thing is let's exit out of here. Now we need to be able to call all of these forms. So let's double click on the doctors first and in there that form is actually referred to as doctor. Let's see if it's gonna work doctor dot let's see show okay that's good it works all right now let's I'm gonna comment out this I just want to try the doctor one if it works for real so let's run this program one click there we go it works so that's fine so back in here undo the comment and one other thing is you can always declare all of these forms as an object so let's assume we say if we come up here and enter Dean doctor as new doctor there we go so we actually calling doctor dot new dot show All right because the form itself is an object so let's try that out as well if it works run the program doctor that's fine as an object okay I'm gonna exit out and come right in here no go to yeah so I'm just going to make it look more professional I'm just gonna change all to objects create all of the objects required I need about five of those then the next one is going to be I say GP underscore that so the GP that's for the GP so instead of doctor here I can just change this one to duck and this one becomes duck so that's fine and that's the GP so we have GP in here appointment and the next one is going to be patient we can just call that part and here is the patient and then this one I'm going to make that payment and that will be pay and this will be firm pharmacy firm and just change this one to pharmacy right they are all ready now let's change it okay that's fine anyway that's fine this one will just be GP GP and this will be duck change this to duck as well that's good just see that yeah that's fine okay exit yeah all right okay then back in here the next one is that so this the name for that is just okay that that show and follow by p p dot show and then we have Show. And what else do we have? We have GP, so that would just be GP dot show. Right, all of them are now in place. I won't do that.
Okay, now that is all done, there's one thing I like to do. I'll, I'll come in here. You see all of these buttons. I would like to copy this very one. So let's right click, copy, and come right inside Doctor. Paste it right inside Doctor. We're going to redesign the whole Doctor frame. Repeat the same thing for this. Repeat the same thing for patient. Pay and pharmacy. They all have that now. Now let's come inside here. Double click on that. You see all those lines of codes? This one. I'm going to copy it all. But before that, okay there are five before that i'm gonna to need to copy all of these mine yep let's copy it and double click on this one paste it right there the next one paste the next one the next one I think I could have used model for all of these, but it's alright though. There. Now, back in here, I'm going to copy every single lines of code that I have in here. Let's copy all of these because the name, I haven't changed the name, so it should be 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Copy. Now, double click on Doctor and paste that right underneath here. There, that's sorted. Appointment, GP appointment, patient, payment, pharmacy. Okay, now the difference is this one that is pharmacy. We need to change pharmacy here to log, I log, or A log. So let's look for whatever is pharmacy here. So this one will become log. And this is going to become log dot show. Right there. And the text content on this one. We need to change that to this one to log there. So the same thing we have to be repeated for this ones. This is oh let's go back to the pharmacy again. And this log the, the name will become log as well. Right, that should change automatically in there. Let's see. Let's go back in here. Double click on log. Oh, that's log. So we move this then to log. Okay, we can get rid of this. Right. The next one, which is payment, we can change this to payment to log. Right login and the text content and then to change that to login as well okay and double click on that and we need to change the payment one to a login and this to log and this become log dot show there let's go to the next one and that's the patient we need to do that as well I'm going to change that to log and the test content change to log there double click on log that's the log I'm just going to move it here 
want all of them together and that is supposed to be patient chain the patient to a log a log in and this will be known as log come right in here log dot show and patient wherever this patient there we're gonna have to delete everything there I represent patients now we need this GP there's a GP there get rid of that change the content to log okay now double click on GP and wherever we have that let's change that to a log in and this becomes log now come right down here that becomes log dot show and GP here if we have a GP get rid of that GP there okay you can group them all together if you want now doctor change that to log as well there we go that will become we need to get rid of the doctor one the log and that is log in here log dot right okay that's fine now I'm gonna move this here and that of the doctor get rid of that okay all that is taken care of now let's go into login and the password so let's take care of the password double click on that right right inside here well, before I can do anything, let me declare some global variable. Dim attempt. Okay, let's declare that as integer. I think I should declare another one. Um, the other one, maybe I should call that check or checkers. Checkers. There there we go now attempt and check us let's come inside the login itself double click on the login again attempt is going to be assigned zero value the same thing check us equals zero as well now let's use a do while loop do while Attempts attempts is less than and equals to three. Attempt in this case equals attempt plus one. Okay, so which means it's going to go around three times if you don't get it right so if txt username dot text equals I'm just going to give that a name anyway I'll just call it Paul and txt password dot text equals one two three four close that then what do I want the system to do I want this to clear whatever content we have in there clear and you to clear whatever you have in there there clear and now 
I want all of these to become enabled everything in here to become enabled and focus set copy that where is it right here and that becomes enabled we already have this so we get rid of that and this becomes true okay all of these becomes true there we go and we set focus on the username else what do we want the system to do else I want you to call as a call I think it's called let's look for the name there we go initialize call initialize this one copy that if you get it all wrong it calls the initialize and 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 if call initialize okay yeah let it focus as well because it's still going around the loop now let's say loop here so let's say checkers equals checkers plus one. Now, if checkers equals three, then unload me and if okay. Let's see if this code is going to work for us. Okay, before I even try it out, let's just indent this. The looks, it looks funny the way it is. Let's indent it and get this one indented as well. Okay, now let's save and come here. Just run it and see. The first place, let me just enter whatever in there. One attempt. To attempt so the system should only allow three that's it that's working how I expect it to work so let's go back in there and enter correct details and that's going to be one two three four. if this login details are correct I expect it to enable all of these buttons there we go so we can always go straight into that is payment and we just need to have some details in there to make the payment look like how it's supposed to look so guys with that i'm gonna call it the end of the second part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly